Hey, what is up all my social comment friends? It's Dustin and I'm back with Nick Ooh, Snyder. And hi. as you guys know, yesterday, a mess. there was a nuclear bomb that was set off on the internet. For those of you that may not know who Glam and Gore is, she goes by Mikey. She has a pretty successful YouTube channel here. Um, she's collabed with a lot of people. Jeffree Star. Used a lot of people. James, used, a used, a lot, a lot used, of people. used a lot of people. Mm. James Charles, um, Gabby Hanna, mm -hmm. um, the list goes on. There, there's a lot. That's just a lot. people off the top of my head. But for those of you that don't know, Swoop, somebody that was actually, I believe they were really good friends. That's how I actually found out about Glamour Gorge because I saw a really? Swoop video. Yes. Like, I wasn't, like, Ooh. into, like, the FX makeup or anything. No. I, you know, I've had reservations about Mikey for a long time because she seems... Reservations. <laughs> yeah. She seems like one of those people that, and apparently these text messages confirm my feelings... That she would be very friendly to someone Fake. to try to gain from them. Further her career. And further her career and then talk massive crap about them and swoop, basically. Confirmed. Confirmed. Not only that, but there was a lot of different things that um, swoop put in that video that I, I was not aware of about Mikey. About the way that she acts mm. towards uh, people of color. Gay people. Gay people. Uh, he doesn't like gay people. Apparently not, that's girl. Because that's the only reason they're successful. Is because they're gay. Is because they're gay, which, if anything, that that makes it way more difficult. Especially here on YouTube. It's like, yeah. if you put LGBT or gay in your tags, or if it's on your channel anywhere, you get demonetized. Yeah, look at Pup. Yeah, so it's like, that doesn't make any fucking sense. It's it, like, they're not, pol they're, they're not so big because they're gay. They're that big because they're polarizing. Yes. And they are always in controversy, and people reward bad behavior. And a lot of what she said came off as really bitter to me, because she's like, this person has this amount of followers, and I've been working so hard, and why does my work not pay off the way theirs does? Oh, she I even said, she even went as far to say as, they have less talent than I do. Yeah. Like, wow. Like, believe in yourself and your craft, but girl... I yeah. mean, when you're sitting online, you're preaching like, oh, no, positivity, oh, it's going be nice, and it's like, behind the scenes, you're a raging bitch. No. I, no, I don't like that. No. Uh, she has a really defeatist attitude. And I, what does defeatist mean? Like, she's just, you give and give and give, and you feel like you're defeated, but um, I was talking to Jen Ryan today about this because mm -hmm. I was like, girl, what do you think? And she was like, pretty much to me, it just seems like she's bitter. Uh, you... Okay, the whole thing, something that really, because we're going to get into some of these text messages here in a minute, is like, what she said about Norvina. Oh, the Norvina uh, one. It was the first one that I saw. I was. And I was like, wow, that's not like empowering to women at all. Like, you're sitting here trashing someone's appearance mm -hmm. behind the scenes to your friend. And let me just read these, because when I saw these, I was like, oh, girl. So she put up this photo of Norvina from her Instagram. I don't know if you guys can see. That's Norvina right there. And she said, what is she doing to her face? Like, obviously, do what you want to do to your own face, but the honesty, that honestly scared me scrolling past it. It makes me wonder if she has any clue how far she's gone. I don't like that. And let me tell you why. Because apparently for her to know Norvina, and Norvina is very friendly. She's been really very, friendly. Very friendly. Love Norvina. She's a super nice woman. Um... They have to have some kind of connection, Mikey being in makeup and Norvina being where she is in makeup. So they've crossed paths at some point. Well, a little birdie told me that Mikey would always be very friendly and come up at like events and like say hi, all that kind of stuff. And I'm like, I wonder why. I don't like that. I that's so why. fake. I wonder why. That's disgusting. Fake, disgusting, but that's the beauty community. It is. A lot the of beauty people. community is not really beautiful. No. Um, there was um, There were so many screenshots in this video. But there was one about Gabby, and there was a picture that was put put in about Gabby, and something was said about Gabby. I can't really remember exactly it had something what it to do said. With her belly button. Yeah, like it had something to do with the way button. she looked. And I was just like, like I don't. You guys she know I don't seems, even really care for Gabby like that. But she seems to go for looks a lot. This Mikey. She does. And it's like, to be honest, if, I, I'm gonna be nice. To be honest, you know, she looked good with, with makeup. Makeup does wonders, <laughs> but. No, she's a pretty girl, no matter what. I mean, but go Mikey is gorgeous with makeup on. With makeup like, on, with, she's stunning. She's very talented, amazing. But she also had a lot to say about James Charles. Oh. Which something I found weird about this was, Mikey did the video with Jeffrey where she turned him into Voldemort. Mm -hmm. Okay, you could already tell that that was awkward. Like, Mikey didn't really want to It was. It. it was very awkward. Like, if you watch it back, like, Mikey's like, mm, like, these faces. A few days later, she had a collab come out with James Charles. Obviously, those two don't like each other. Yeah. So it's like, did you tell... 
then that was gonna happen because i don't know i don't know like it's mm -hmm. something about some like her energy as far as like she's always came across really like bitchy to me and i don't have another word to describe that uh other than the word bitchy because God, are so dry. they really are Ew. Well, you know, I've always heard things about Mikey from behind the scenes. Like, she's one way on camera, and then she turns it off, and she's completely different, which a lot of people are. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are. A lot of people have a persona. Yeah. But a lot of people have been feeling a certain type of way about Mikey since she got with Anthony. Yeah. They say that she's now this, like, SJW. Like, it's... Well, that really came back to bite her, because you cannot be fighting for social justice mm -hmm. issues and then have this type of stuff come out. Some stuff, like, really recent, too. You know what I mean? Yeah. You okay. can't okay. say um, you support Black Lives Matter and then do the type of things that you do. You know what I mean? Because because Swoop really didn't get into the tipping point for her and what really happened, the breakdown behind the scenes as far as like what made her lead up to making this video. Mm -hmm. But there had to be something there for her to feel this way. The only thing that I did not really like about her video is the fact that she left out like context uh, from where yes. she would reply and things. However... Uh, because I talked to Jen about this and I, I had thought this before and she kind of validated my feelings on it. Mm -hmm. The thing is, she may not have felt comfortable in that moment to be like, hey, girl, you know, what you're doing is like really not sitting right with me. Well, there were a few messages that Swoop did show and she put like the exclamation points on yeah. the messages. So she was going along with what was being said. Yeah. She was being shady as well. Well, I mean, yeah, that's shady. However, mm -hmm. you have to think about it as like, in because Swoop, is a much smaller creator here. Mm. That's not being shady. It's the truth. She is. So when your friend, like, I think there was an amount of tolerance that she had with Mikey because she wanted to be friends with her because it did benefit her a little bit. And maybe mm. I think that she was genuinely, like, into her friendship with her. You know what I mean? I think so, too. Sometimes you will let your friends slide on things that you normally would not let other people slide on. And I think that could have been what it was. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because if she would have made this video at any point in time in the past... There's no telling how Mikey may have reacted, and maybe now she felt like she was in a place where she could do that. Well, of course she did, because Mikey had ghosted her for seven months. Yeah, that's... She ghosted her for seven months, as, and that was all during a time where Swoop was going through a lot of stuff. Yeah, I don't like, like that. Like, she came out with certain things that happened to her that are very, like... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and Mikey was like, I'm not going to talk to her, until Mikey thought that she was shading her on social media. Oh, wow, well, I didn't know that part. And that's how social media friends work, y'all. That, no, that's oh, not how be. friendship works. That's not how social, social media, media friends, friends work. work. No. Yes, because there's a difference between social media friends and actual friends. Well, I mean, not with me. If I'm your friend, I'm your are, friend. But social media friends are like acquaintances. Mm. Like, I'm not going to say names. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but I, I, I get why maybe now was the time that she made this video. And I didn't know that that... I, wish I, I watched the video, but, like, I watched it, like, while I was doing other things and listened to other things. Mm. Uh, so I might not have, like, got that part, but... I wish that she would have showed her messages because it would have seemed more genuine and, like, she wasn't trying to paint a one-sided thing. Like, if she went into it and said, hey, I was fucked up too, but this is what is really going on, I think that people would have accepted it a little bit better. Oh, no, I mean, the video was very, very well done. Very well and it, and it was well received, too. You could tell that this is something that she worked on for a very long time. This gave me um, James Charles' No More Lies or whatever it was. Oh, vibes yeah. Vibes with how the receipts I have and all not, of that. She, there has not been a, an exposed video like this ooh. in a hot minute, girl. Do you think Mikey's going to respond? Well, a couple of birdies told me. A lot of the people mentioned in this video by Swoop. Mikey has now been apologizing to people profusely behind the scenes, texting them nonstop, calling them nonstop. Um, and I had tweeted about that. And a lot. some people were like, well, what do you expect her to do? What? She's apologizing. She's apologizing now because she got called. Yeah. She's like, if this would have never happened, she would have went on about her day and been like eating these people up to their face and still talking the stuff behind their back. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that is very, very fake to me. Uh, an apology after the fact, if you didn't feel bad about what you were doing in that moment and you didn't let me know, mm -hmm. like, it, it's okay. Like you, if somebody, like if you were came to me and you were like, oh, I, I said this about you and I was mad or whatever, mm -hmm. I, I would forgive you for that. But like, if I found out after the fact and I and didn't you know apologize. that you, and then you apologize... That's a totally different thing. See, I didn't know that Mikey didn't have Jeffrey or James on her channel. 
No. It was just on theirs. So she was just benefiting from this and then was like, eh. She yeah. benefited twice from James, actually. Yeah. Because she did the, like, biggest beauty guru collab or whatever. Yeah, but you know what else, like, kind of, like, gets on my nerves? Like, she's ungrateful because she was, like, because specifically James, because we're going to talk about him in these messages mm -hmm. that you're going to read. Uh, she was like, how, like, why do I not have that? Or they can't even do makeup the way that I do makeup. It's not all of it. Like, makeup skills are a big factor if you're going to be in the beauty community, but also it's personality. And James is pretty good at makeup, but a lot of people also like his personality. She said something about James always stealing his content. Yeah. And that was one of the issues that she had with James, because I guess that she told him. Well, apparently she didn't tell something. him to his face. No, of course she, she didn't tell him to his face. She was millions of subscribers. I hope that James doesn't, like, get back in with her. I hope that he's. Well, like, no. from what I hear, he's like, been ignoring it. Yeah. Because. Maybe he'll address it. No, what I really want to know is if Anthony Padilla is going to make a video about no. Mikey and her very Birds of a feather girl <laughs> behavior. Because a lot of people are saying that he's changed since he got with her. Oh, you think? I don't know him I don't. Before. I don't know that much I don't about know him, him before. I don't know that much about him. The only reason I really know about Anthony... He was like part of what, Smosh? Yeah, he was part What's of Smosh. Yeah, he was part of Smosh. I didn't know that. Um... But now he's doing like all these like documentary type of videos and you know, him and Trisha yeah. with the whole DID thing, that was bad. Remember They're... when he came for drama channels? No. You don't remember that? No. Where he said that basically we all need to be taken off, this paraphrasing, basically need to be taken off the platform and YouTube, YouTube needs to stop rewarding us. You don't remember that? No, I thought that, that was, was like I two thought, months ago. I thought that was that other guy. No, that was her boyfriend. Oh. There was a few that said it. There's. There's a few. We're not going anywhere. Because me. that's how I started to like really know who Anthony was. Well, I mean. Was because of the things that he was saying. I mean, you know what? It kind of makes sense because I could totally see Mikey say, see in this video and be like, yeah, I'm being bullied. Girl, no. Girl, you were being the bully. Send a text message. You were literally someone, like saying oh. very homophobic things like, and saying racially insensitive types of things about people. So who who's the bully? Oh, I, I think her boyfriend needs to make a video about her. She said something along the lines of, um, it's very difficult on YouTube right now if you are not gay or if you are not a minority. Which... All while doing... Which told, like... Okay, let's break this down for a minute. The gay thing, it's very hard because of tags and things like that. Mm. If you want to talk to people within our community, we're gay, obviously. Mm. But, like... All raging homosexuals. Yeah. But the thing is, as far as, like black people and people of color that's a totally different thing because it's been proven yep. that they've been suppressed yep like gay people have been suppressed but black people have been really suppressed you know what i mean because that's why you see all these really white beauty you guru youtubers oh, it's so cookie cutter it is it really is I, they all look like james charles to me now. and and you know what we can say what we want about jackie but oh she, jackie's amazing well no but she, she's kind of like, and that's why a lot of people look for her. Mm -hmm. She's kind of like the front runner in that. And she, she still honestly doesn't have millions upon millions of like 20 million subscribers. That I don't understand. There's not, I can't think of one black beauty YouTuber, boy or girl that has like more than 10 or even 10 million. Jackie don't have 10 million. I think Jackie has like 4 million. Yeah. The, but you look at like people like Jeffree Star, he has how many? Like 16 million. 17, James Charles, 22, 20, 22 million. Um, how, who else? Who's another big one? Manny, how many million? Manny, Manny has. Manny doesn't have I mean, no. Um, but we're talking about like specifically comparing white to black as far as like uh, the YouTuber subscriber count. Um, Nikki Tutorials, 10 million. Yeah. Um, who else? There has to be. We talk about these same people all the time. <sighs> But you guys get the point. There's so many more white YouTubers that are successful that are successful versus black YouTubers that are not. It's because they're suppressed. That's mm. the thing. That, that I, I fully believe that. YouTube needs to correct that shit. They're not going to, girl. They need to correct that shit. Talk, let's talk about James Charles, girl. Well, I don't have all of them because there were so fucking many. <laughs> like, honestly, go to Swoop's video. But I guess that... Um, What's it called? She was tweeting about somebody who said, Meanwhile, James is tweeting about combining his top looks for his 10 million video as though I didn't do that for my 3 million. So now it's like James is copying me. I think a lot of people have done that video concept. And so Swoop says, Girl, you have a collab coming up with James. 
How many people can say that and you're getting major views and recommends? Look how you've been doing for months. I didn't even think you'd like James, LOL. And she goes, that doesn't negate how frustrating that is. I have a little jealousy, uh, it seems like, with this. It's like, I, that is jealous. That is straight up jealousy. Which, you know, I get it. Like, you want to do, like, amazing in your field and you want to be on top. People strive to be on top. And that's great. That's fine. But <coughs> you, you seem kind of negative. Here's the thing. If you can't be happy for other people's success, why should you be successful? And why should anybody be happy for yours? Exactly. That's my question. But fine. there's a lot of people that were really disappointed in Mikey. And rightfully so. I like. I wasn't expecting it. I never expected much from Mikey to begin with. I wasn't expecting it. I mean, oh no, I, co I commented that on Swoop's video. I was like, oh girl, I was not expecting this. I commented, we knew. <laughs> <laughs> we knew. We knew. And people are like, oh, you didn't say anything. Like, what am I going to say? That she's a bitch? Want to make a video about her being a bitch? A girl. <laughs> I don't know. But the fact of the matter is, I feel, I feel like although... I'm kind of like, ooh, mm -hmm. about Swoop not putting in her text messages and replies. I understand it because in that moment, she may not have been comfortable saying anything. Totally get that 100%. And I, 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 I'm not invalidating her feelings at all because I feel like she has some genuine feelings behind this because she would not have put this like hour long video together. You know what I'm saying? Because this was a very good video. But Or was she so comfortable that she was saying stuff back about those people? Because if you look at some of the screenshots, it'll be, you can tell it's pulled up. Mm -hmm. to the top of the thing and some messages are deleted and you just see Mikey. Mm -hmm. That's why I think that if she would have just been like, you know, I was shady fucking too. I was gossiping with my friends. Okay, okay, like, yeah. Me, okay, Cause, because me and T-Spill had this conversation yesterday. It's mm -hmm. one thing if you don't like somebody and you're being shady about them mm -hmm. because you're not going to go on social media and be like, oh yeah, I'm going to make this collab with them. I'm going to do this. I'm going to yeah. do that. It's another thing when you're shady about somebody and they're your friend and then you're talking about another person and then you're like oh hey girl. hey girl hey girl let's do this collab that's totally that's totally different thing girl it's not what you do all the time no. <laughs> no. that's what your other friend that does, uh, oh, does that's in deck, oh my god that no that's what your other friend does bitch i don't know who you're talking about yeah you do the one that's an excessive credit card debt that buys fake louis vuitton bags bitch from the guy on offer up don't play with me not offer up bro. yes offer up <laughs> Don't play with you ever bought anything from Offer Up? No. This video is sponsored by Offer Up. No, Opera. it's not. Let's put it in the back of it. <laughs> no, I don't think so. So what are your takeaways from this? Mikey is not nice. Mikey is that girl in high school that trashes everyone. Oh. But, and her name was probably be Brittany. Total mean girl's vibe. She's a Brittany. Total. No. Who was the mean girl in your school? What was her name? Uh, Rebecca. Oh. That doesn't like a bitchy name. Rebecca. Rebecca. 100% Rebecca. Oh, and uh, you know what, girl? Mm. I'm not going to say what she does for a living now because I don't want to shame her, but you used to call me poor girl. Where are you at? Oh, uh, girl. <laughs> Mine that were all Britneys. There was like a group of Britneys <laughs> and they were awful. Britney. I don't even know if their names really were Britney. Fern Mayo. They were not nice. One of them got pushed down the stairs and broke her leg because she was a bitch. And oh, my God. Ooh. It's not nice. It's not nice, but you know what she was mean. No, I believe Karma comes Oh, they her. were really mean to that girl. She was a flyer. Is that what it's called when you're thrown up in cheerleading? Yeah. She they dropped like, her. She was like, they threw her up in the pep rally and just... <laughs> onto the freaking basketball court floor. That's not nice. They didn't like her. No, she was really mean. And she was fucking everyone's boyfriends. I don't understand why people are so mean for, like, no, no good... Like, there's a time to be mean. Like, if somebody's mean to you, be full... Like, be mean to them back. Mm -hmm. But if somebody, like... I've never been mean to somebody in passing or for no reason at all. You know what I mean? I'm only disrespectful to people that disrespect me. There's no point in being nasty. I agree. But you can't tell these kids nothing, but we get called the high school bullies. But this. We're not. Bullies. Mikey girl. We're just honest. Whew. Oh, I can't wait to figure out what I'm going to put in this thumbnail. I can't wait to get dragged in the comment section for my lips. Oh, yeah, they're crusty, girl. For my, they're crusty, but they also look massive today. Busted, crusted, and dusted. They look massive. Ooh. I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, this video is actually really kind of long. It's at 20 minutes. I never, ever... Do they look dusty? Ew. That never happens. But, you guys, please let me know your thoughts and stuff down below about this. We're going to actually cover the apology on Nick's channel, so I will link that in the description box of this video. And... 
if you don't know, Nick's Instagram got deleted. So if you followed him on his old Instagram, I will link it as well for the new one because it got deleted because people don't I forgot it. we were gonna do a giveaway. Oh, yeah, we'll do a giveaway. I'll announce the giveaway in my video. Probably one over there. Well, we'll probably do a couple giveaways this yeah. week. The one in my video, I'm gonna do Dragon Beauty. Because I have all the items if anybody wants it. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, but you guys, please let me know your thoughts down below. Please be respectful of one another. I know that we all may not agree on this because a lot of people stand Mikey. And why, I don't know. I've never really been like a stan of Mikey. But what she did was messed up. And the way that she treated Swoop was just completely not okay. Um, but you guys, I hope you have the most amazing day ever. And we will see you on the next video. Bye. Bye, guys.